Bam, what is up everybody? My name is Jordan Baywood and I'm a music producer and audio engineer. And today I got a Drake style vocal mix I wanna show you. First, I'm gonna play the mix I have. If you like it, you can stay and I'm gonna break down every plugin that I use in the settings and get right to it. So let's get it. Yeah, where were you when I needed you the most? I be texting and calling, but you seem like a ghost. And NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke I never should have listened to the words that you spoke Man, the dream was all there, and then it blew up in smoke This is an artist I work with, Kendall Bird His links will be down below if you want to check out his music He is so good I'm going to turn off everything, we're going to go one by one So the first thing I did is a de-esser So you'll see that any crispy, clean vocal always has a de-esser just in case Where were you when I needed you the most? I be texting and calling but you seem like a ghost so you can see how controlling those s's and it's cleaning it up already you're going to find a male rap s's are usually between 3500 and 4k and what i like to do and i like making sure this is going between six negative six and ten and it usually always sounds good there where were you when i needed you the most i be tech so you see when most and it went down to like negative ten and that's where i was looking for i make sure that with the de-esser it's not overdoing it so it's not sounding like this if we overdo it but you seem like a ghost you see so i like to make sure when i'm doing it it so still sounds like a natural vocal but you seem like a ghost and ntt that's there but that ain't really there you said that you cared, but that was all just a joke, I guess. Okay, so next plugin I did is a, just a channel EQ. And what I did is just clean up the vocal. And you got to remember, they're spending hours just with EQs, getting rid of all the bad frequencies. So this is very essential in a clean, crispy vocal. So check this out. But you seem like a ghost. And NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a Took out 100 and then I made these little points and there was just annoying points that I found inside the vocals so they're going to be obviously different from you. But really spend time and find bad frequencies and duck them around 3 dB. The next thing I added was my Pugue Tech, my favorite EQ in the world. Uh, I had actually added at around 12k and then gave it a boost and it really added a nice little sizzle. But you seem like a ghost and NTT that's there but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to You see how that uh, really added crispiness? And then I added another de-esser at 7K because I was finding some annoying frequencies. Most of the time I will do this because I'll, it'll either be around 7K to the 10K, and there'll just be annoying frequencies that just keep standing out because I'm boosting a lot of highs. But you seem like a ghost, and NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke. I never should have listened to the words that you spoke. Man. So it's not doing too much, uh, but it's just controlling around the 7K range, which the 7K range I find is uh, it's, it's just a weird spot. I, I noticed there's a lot of bad frequencies around there. The next is the compressor. So pretty fast attack, fast release, and I'm doing a heavy ratio at four. And I do this because 40 actually said that he'll either use two compressors or a heavy compressor and our comp was one of the compressors they use and they do they'll do the smooth or warm whatever one you prefer but i'm telling you a lot of these uh, big engineers with these big artists are using this compressor right here because it's just so good and it, it just brings the vocal together without this compressor you can hear that the vocal sounds loose and when i turn it on it sounds tight and right in the mix so watch off but you seem like a ghost and ntt that's there but that ain't really there you said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke. I never should have listened to the words that you spoke. Man, the dream was all there, and then it blew up in smoke. Shout out my boy Glow, he was out in the know. We be on to the bull, steady trying to cope. But yeah, so make sure it's compressing around. You'll want it to be around the 6 to 12 range. Uh, and then that's going to get a nice, consistent, beefy, in-the-mix vocal. The next thing I did is add the pitch correction. I don't do a lot of auto-tune. You know, Drake doesn't either. It's, it's not noticeable, but they still put it on. Find the scale of the beat by putting the beat into, like, tunebat.com, and you'll figure out the key of the track. And the thing that really is warming it up is using an effect rack. They'll use something like this, like an amp. But you seem like a ghost, and NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. 
You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke I never should have listened to the words that you spoke Man, the dream was all there, and then it blew up in smoke Shout out my boy Glow, he was out in the note We be on to the bull So that just gives it some beef, and it just gives it some definition and tone uh, You can try a bunch of different things, just try using amps and but lower the mix on them and it's just gonna it's just gonna add harmonics throughout the vocal and give it a nice feel the next thing i added was the exciter this really took it to the next level i feel like and i actually used it on a lower frequency because i wanted to bring out the mids more in his vocal so check this out but you seem like a ghost and ntt that's there but that ain't really there you said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke. I never should have listened to the Try to put it around the lower mids section, wherever it's it's feeling a little thin. And then add just like 3%, 3 to 5% uh, percent of harmonics. And I chose color 2. It just sounded better with this vocal. It could sound color 1, so it could sound better with yours. But try that out. And this, I think it really tied this vocal in together. But you seem like a ghost. And NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. Let's turn this, uh, you know, gain down a little bit now that it's adding more. But you seem like a ghost and NTT that's there, but that. And then the next thing I did was add an EQ, and like I said, you know, you gotta keep cleaning up the vocal. And so after all those, you know, the compressors and stuff, it added different, you know, harmonics and frequencies, and I just found some that I didn't like anymore. So definitely try to do an EQ before you start processing and then after processing, and it'll definitely clean it up a lot. And then the next thing I did was the reverbs and delays, and I actually bust these. And I bust these because there's different, there's hook sections, there's singing sections. So what I did is first is added the delay and I added a one fourth delay and that's what sounded best to me at 100% wet because we're bussing it. And then I added an EQ after and just took out some highs and some lows and check this out. But you seem like a ghost and NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke. I never should have listened to the words that you spoke. Man, the dream was all there, and then it blew up in smoke. And then next, I added the reverb. But you seem like a ghost. And, and I added a chroma verb. But you seem like a ghost. And NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. So I have it at up around one, you know, one second decay. And, you know, took out a lot of the highs. And it can actually take out a little more. Left a little of the mids because I, I like that warmth from the, the the reverb and as you can see nothing You know nothing crazy. I just have it a dark room because you have the, it's that, that Drake dark vibe and it definitely helped with that And yeah, I just have it, you know a little bit to taste the the reverb coming after the delay It's giving reverb to the delay so it sounds better But you seem like a ghost and NCT that's there, but that ain't really there you said that you cared, but that was all just a so it's a nice clean consistent vocal So I hope this helped you guys if it did please give it a thumbs up if it didn't give it a thumbs down If you made it to this part you might as well subscribe for watching this video I want to offer you a free vocal mixing cheat sheet You can click down below in my description to download that I got some goodies in that so go check that out and question of the day is, what is your favorite Drake song? And, uh, you know, comment that down below, and I cannot wait to hear you guys' answers. I will see you guys next video. Let's get it. Yeah, where were you when I needed you the most? I be texting and calling, but you seem like a ghost. And NTT that's there, but that ain't really there. You said that you cared, but that was all just a joke. I guess you ain't never really prepared for your heart to be broke. I never should have listened to the words that you spoke. Man, the dream was all there, and then it blew up in smoke.